Hello YouTube, what's going on? This is Charles, and uh, as promised, I am making a longer video about Swiss Army canteens, or I guess you might say water bottles. Anyway, let's take a look here. So let's just look at the oldest one that is here. So this is like a M32 type. Let me double check when this thing was made. Nineteen forty one. You see here on these older ones they don't have the fold out handles that you see on the post war type and I don't remember what year they started making those. Um this is the condition I got this thing in. It's still completely usable. Um you can see in here there's rust. Just kidding, if you're watching this, it's not rust. They use a, I think it's like a, a pitch um, blend or something like that that's uh, used in there to help seal this aluminum because this is made from aluminum. Um, you can see here these fit in. Oops, and I put it in backwards, so you have to watch that because this loop is what helps secure this so this thing does not slide out of the, the cup. Um, you've got the cork on there. Uh, I believe this is the original cork. Could have been replaced, but uh, regardless, doesn't really matter. I have used this one. Um, I like it. I love the size of this. What else do we have here? So that's that's an official issue. Um, then we have this. So this has been described as a medics um, canteen. I'm not really sure if that's its purpose. It was actually for that or if it's more like an officer one. Um, in some armies in the different countries, they may have, uh, you know, like the NCOs or officers might have, um, whiskey or some sort of spirits that they can keep with them and then they meet out, you know, a shot or two to their soldiers. I think this might actually just be a, a medic's one, but I don't know. What's, uh great about this this is very close to the same as a, a quart size like a US one in the size um, I also like this because obviously it has a stainless steel cup on there you can pop this out and more importantly you can hook this on to your belt or other places um, these are removable clips suspended on this. Um, this is kind of like a imitation leather on here. It's not actual leather. Um, they also have this in a black color, which matches the black rubberized um, uh, salt pepper um, rucksack. The next official one is the M84, and I believe this is at uh, 80 milliliters or 0.8 liters. Um, these things are great. Uh, you see here it does come with a cup as well. Now this is one that I've been using on my Swiss Army bicycle. And I just leave this stuff sitting in there. And you see that if I don't clean this up, you can see all that oxidation down there. So that's one thing that I don't like about aluminum. Um, if you leave it in the elements there, it's going to degrade like that. Now, I'm at fault because I have not been, you know, taking this out and 
making sure there's no condensation or water or whatever there. Um, these things are great though because you do have the fold out handles. Um, the benefit with this these, this shape is you can put these in your pocket and that's actually what these are meant to do. So they're small enough to put in your pocket. They also fit in the pocket of the bread bags. But, um, and then this is slim too. So if you have a rucksack, you can put this in the side pockets or the front pockets and it fits in there a little bit better than like a quart size um, canteen. So here's why we're really here is because I saw when I got this, I, I noticed that they had this stainless steel cup from SIG with also the SIG water bottle or the oval. You know, basically it's just an homage to the original M32. Um, the dimensions of these are the same. They're, they're 60 milliliters or 0.6 liters. Um, this is aluminum. This is stainless steel. This is an aluminum cup, obviously. So you might be asking, are these things interchangeable? Let me show you there. So you can see there, it is the same general dimension and size. And you can see that we can put these inside of the other. Um, now this thing, I believe was from about 2009. The person I got it from sold it with a bread bag, um, a Swedish um, mess kit, and a Swedish uh, Kukska or, or cup. Um, anyway, that the main reason I wanted this was because of this this cup here because it is stainless steel. So I like stainless steel because it's it's more um, resistant to dents. Although you see dent on there, um, it's just a little bit tougher than these guys. You see all these dents on here, but um, that's the main reason. Now. When I look at this though, you can, I'm trying to show you, it might be difficult to see, but I cleaned this, but you can see the seams on the bottom. And you can see the line of a seam going right down here. So I guess my only concern is with that seam on the bottom, so maybe if I heat it too much, maybe that little weld or solder or whatever it is they're using in there might um, heat up and separate um, I don't know but uh, so this thing is pretty beat up and I'm not sure if the liner in there is still intact or not it looks uh, yeah so it looks kind of dirty inside of there they use this uh, echo friendly liner when this was made and it's um, Kind of got a yellowish tint. I don't know if it's supposed to be yellow or not. But then there's a lot of marks or corrosion there. Now I did clean these. Um, I'm going to need a new lid because you can see how dirty this lid in the washer is. Um, these are difficult to find, but I did find on um, Poshmark. Someone was selling one of these SIG oval water bottles. And so I, I pounced on it and got it. So obviously this is a, a little bit more flashy color. I can remove this um, thing. This is to help see if you want to tie it onto something and hang it. Obviously with this lid you can put your finger or thumb inside of there or put you know cordage or something to hang this on something that way as well um, this one looks like it's 
barely used. There are some dents on here, obviously, but did not affect the liner. The liner inside of there is completely clear and clean. Um, and that's the main reason I got this because you can't, it's very difficult to find these. Now, there was a stainless steel version of this on eBay, but I missed it because well, I don't have money for it. But there you go. Um, one thing I am missing is um, they do have a uh, a pleather or imitation leather ring which goes here and then also goes on to this little knob and that helps prevent this thing from um, falling out. Um, so I will probably just fashion something similar to the old one with some string or cordage so I can just make sure it doesn't fall out very easily just like that um, gosh what do we got well we have the bread bags so basically here is one from the 70s or 80s so check this from 79 and then this guy is from can't remember it's a 45 is on this one there's really not too much difference except for you know you've got fabric on here versus this uh, kind of naga hide or pleather type of vinyl fabric so inside the pouch is basically the same um, you still have the front pouch, very slim. On the inside, you have this little pouch there is where your canteen goes. This is where your food goes. It's a bread bag or a sustainment bag. Would be like in the U.S., that's what we call a sustainment bag. Um, and then out here you've got loops and this is where you put a strap and this is where your mess kit goes Now you can carry the mess kit inside of there But this is really To work as a lid for your rucksack Or as a sustainment bag so you can wear this on your shoulder Or these loops go into the top of your Swiss army rucksack or like they call them uh, salt and pepper or the rubberized one but that's where these top straps go on there this is your lid and then on the bottom here on the older one you have this D ring or square ring and you have the extra strap which helps secure this um, you can see on here that this secures the pouch inside. Um, what's slightly different with the newer version is obviously the pleather, but it has just a leather strap on the bottom. And then this goes into the square ring on the rucksack itself. So you don't need that extra strap. Still got this secure here. Now I have also used these as panniers. Or pan, geez, I can't even say the word. See what happens when I'm tired. But um, panniers um, on my um, Swiss Army bike. So you can just fasten this on the, <clears throat> the back rail or the back... Um, can't even say now and then um, with this bottom one this goes into the lower part of your bike to help secure this from flopping around <clears throat> and so I, I've, I've had a couple of these as well anyway that's a mess and if you made it this far you're crazy just like me if you guys have comments or questions uh, let me know I know I probably missed something anyway Thanks for watching. Have a good one.